Hey everybody, today we are catching up with esteemed and celebrated alumnus Tomalayo. How are you doing out there? Good, 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 good. I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah, how's well, you know, how's life since leaving Yellowtail? Tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now. Uh, so, uh, I'm with Boyd, as you know, Boyd Corporation, and I am uh, a system, senior system engineer. So I just deal with Linux every day, Monday to Friday. Uh, the usual work with uh, Ubuntu servers, you know, take care of the Linux system and make sure the infrastructure is running great. So did, did I hear you say senior in front of that title? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, you didn't waste any time, did you? <laughs> yeah. Wow, congratulations. That's so awesome. And Thank I can you. tell I can tell by the smile on your face that you're loving life right now, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. How yeah. so so tell me how, how is your life different now than it was prior to uh joining and, and becoming uh a, a Linux system admin? Yeah, um I've been able to prioritize my time and I, I actually have uh, a lot of time in my hands right now to do other things because I work remotely and it's hundred percent and I can walk while I do other things. And so uh, my time has been used wisely now. Yeah, so. good. That's awesome. You know, it's important that you get like a good balance. Yes. We all enjoy what we do, but you know, if you're chained to your desk 24 hours a day, it's um <clears throat> it can get to be a little tiring after a while. Mm -hmm. um, so when when you started in this position, what 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 percentage of what you did was like based on what you learned and based on what you had to learn, you know? I mean, I know it was kind of a little bit of both, but did you feel like you were pretty prepared going into the position? Well, I, because the the anxiety, you, you <laughs> usually feel like you're not prepared. You yeah. feel like you don't know anything. You feel like you're just going there to just, I don't know. But once I get there, um, I realized I was prepared. I realized that everything that I was taught in Yellowtail, I actually put them into use. Um, I would say about 70% of things I already know from Yellowtail. Wow. And 30, yeah, yeah. And 30% of new things that I that I know now. Yeah. yeah so, mm -hmm. Well, that's that's good though because it sounds like you're still being challenged and everything too, and mm -hmm. and learning new things. Mm -hmm. um, how how long have you been out now? Has it been about six months? Oh, it's long? been about nine months. Has it really? Yes. Jeez, man, time goes. <laughs> time just like zooms past. So I I got the job. <laughs> so. Have you started thinking at all about like uh, what direction you want to head next or are you just so busy right now doing what you're doing and absorbing it all that you haven't really given it much thought? I actually have. I had a meeting with uh, Paloma about probably a month ago and I just wanted her to, you know, tell me um, how I can just stay, you know, um, rooted or just stay, stay relevant, stay relevant. In yeah. The yeah. So, um, and she gave me some, you know, some clues, some advice. Um, I'm thinking of going into Ansible, um, cause we, cause we pretty use that, um, at work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking right now, but I, I haven't really decided because, yeah. you know, I'm still kind of, well, I mean, nine months, that's not, a you know, that's not a long time. And, and, you know, you're right at this intersection or crossroads where there are so many different avenues that you can take. Yeah. Um, I think it would be hard you know, for somebody brand new to really have a good sense of where they want to go until they 
do it for a little while and and you know but ansible is a tool that i know um that you know the apprentices are exposed to and uh because i'm not a technical guy ansible is like an automation tool right yes, yes. so yeah okay so i know that that's you know used for patching servers and different things like that mm -hmm. do they is there a specific like certification you can get for ansible i think so i yeah. haven't looked into it but i should there should be yeah yeah well mm -hmm. you know what um for those that that might not know paloma is one of our co-founders and mm -hmm. i think it's really cool that you reached out and you know you guys had that conversation um and i think one thing that i admire and i and i love about you tomalayo is you've kept connected to the to the yellowtail family and you know the alumni group and and you know pitching in here and there and doing different things and we certainly appreciate that um you know everybody's got a life and everybody's busy but it's just cool to for you to continue giving back so i wanted to thank you for that thank you yeah for sure so mm -hmm. if if there is there anything that you know now that you wish you knew back when you were a student that would have really helped hmm. I don't I, I really don't think so I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna change anything yeah. like the journey was I think it went how it should it should have gone um where I am right now I'm not complaining I'm I'm good I'm fine I'm happy that I went through that journey yeah. like yeah so I don't think that there's I really don't I I would just say that I would do the exact same thing. I would stay determined. I would, you know, attend classes. I would read. I would do everything, the same thing. And yeah. I would go for the same result. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, what, what is your, now that you've been out there for nine months, what is your opinion on the future of Linux and where it's headed? Do you have any uh, comments on what you might see next from Linux or what, uh, you know, I guess the, re the reason I asked, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uncertainty for people that are thinking about getting into tech and, you know, Linux seems to be what's kind of running the world right now. So what, what do you think about that? Hmm. Well, I really don't think Linux is going anywhere. Um, for a, a long time, yeah. uh, I'm worried about AI because um it's kind of scary yeah but yeah but i think as as long as we stay relevant as long as you don't you know get complicit i think we sh we would be fine yeah yeah i think i i think you're right i think that it's just too important of a technology right now that um you know is being used if it were to I, I mean, if anything, it's just going to continue to evolve and, and, and get better. So yeah. has AI affected your job at all right so far? Or? Uh, no, but uh, recently we just uh, we just started using this, uh, AI software. Uh, I really don't know how we're going to be using it, but we just started up, um, installing it. And so I it hasn't really had any impact yet yeah. but i'm still i'm still waiting it's <laughs> it's interesting because everybody's you know there's so many different and varying opinions on it you know i mean i can see how it would make some things easier and everything mm -hmm. i'm i'm old school though you know it's <laughs> like i you know i like that human connection and and, and everything you know so uh it makes it, 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 it again i can see you know let, let me put it this way. I think that no matter what I think about it, I better learn to embrace it because it's here to stay. It's here and, to stay. Yeah, and it's not going anywhere. So, <laughs> man, it's it's so good to to get to see you and to see you all smiling and happy <laughs> and everything. Um, yeah. What um what what else is happening with you? Anything exciting? Ah. No big, any big travel plans or anything? 
No, no, not really. Uh, maybe planning and relocating. Maybe that that that's the next thing right now. Where to? My, what? Do you, have a, do you have a place picked out or a place in mind? Yeah, I'm thinking of Chicago. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I'm limited to some southern state because of my job. So I, I don't have much of a pool to pick from. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago, but, where to remind me, where are you at now? Are you in the DMV uh, area? Ohio, Cincinnati. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Chicago. I mean, I, I've only been through Cincinnati a few times. I grew up in Detroit. And oh. uh, and Chicago's a cool town. It's almost like you know, people say it's like a sister city of Detroit, but <laughs> you know, everything you want is there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's mm -hmm. a big city. It's got it's great culture. City. It's got, you know, great sports. It's got great food and, you know, so many cool things to do. Just make sure you buy a good winter jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I well, would think. I, I stay in Cincinnati. It's cool here, too. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet you probably already have one if you're if you're in Cincinnati. So, <laughs> well, Tomalayo, thank you so much for coming and joining me. And um, I know that we'll be catching up with you again sometime in the future. Um, I've said this to you before, but I'll, you know, I'll say it again. If there is anything at all that you ever need help with, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. And like I said, I'm really glad that you uh, touched base with Paloma and, um, uh, you know, and that you're listening to her, you know, she's been around, she knows what she's doing. So there's some good advice I'm sure that she was able to offer. Yes, yes. Okay, well, I hope you have a good rest of Friday and a and a great weekend, and um, and we will talk to you real soon. Yeah, 